Hi guys, I'm Willow B, a YouTuber and online safety campaigner, and you're watching the Live My Digital video series. Today's topic is the digital footprint. I'm here at Google, one of the most exciting tech companies in the world, and I can't think of anywhere more perfect to shoot the video for today's topic. That's because this video is all about having awareness of your reputation and thinking of cool things you can do online to get yourself noticed so that one day you can land yourself a cool job at somewhere like Google. This video gives you insights into how digital footprints are formed, why it's important to be aware of them, how you can manage your digital footprint and ways to make it work to your advantage. I think of social media like a digital diary. I have memories of all the things I've done, the places I've been to and the people I've met along the way. Every now and then I'll scroll back through my pictures, going all the way back to school and find myself smiling or cringing at the things I've done. As cool as it is to have all of these memories at the click of a button, it's also important to be aware that whenever these pictures, videos, comments get posted online, we're creating our digital footprint. And if that stuff is embarrassing or inappropriate, it may be visible for the whole world to see. A digital footprint is the trail of digital information we leave behind us when we do anything online. When we share, search, join groups or buy things, all of this information is stored somewhere. Sometimes we know about it and sometimes we really don't. Research shows that 48% of employers will use search engines to research you before considering you for a position. And if you decide to apply for university further down the line, many of them will also research your digital footprint as part of the application process. In these situations, having a good digital footprint can massively work in your favour. What do you want people to discover when they search you? We're already seeing six second CVs on Vine, portfolios beautifully displayed on Pinterest, creative CVs developed via Snapchat stories and people showcasing their hobbies and interests like fashion and photography through their blogs and YouTube channels like mine. The things we post today could be important years down the line. When content that reflects you in a negative light is easily visible in search, your online reputation is at risk. Here's what a group of students I spoke to had to say on the matter. Because you can't like control what other people are doing and if they're like tagging you in, it seems a bit like, like you're overreacting if you're telling them to like take it down and stuff. It's not like every single picture you post goes up on Google Images. So when you post something you think it probably won't go up, but like it can because yeah. some do. Don't post anything that you like wouldn't want everybody to see because if you post something you think oh I really wouldn't want like my teacher or my mum to see that like the chance that it's like the wrong thing to yeah. be posting. Mm -hmm. You try to post something or like write a Twitter status or anything just be mindful of who's watching and who can find out. So what can you do to clean up or protect your digital footprint? Here are a few tips I have to help you keep on top of things. Having a good play around with the security settings on your social media accounts is key. Make sure they're set to a standard you're happy with so that only the people who you want to see your business can see your business. If you've posted something in the past that you're not happy with or think it's a bit inappropriate, delete it. This will make it less visible. If someone else has posted a piece of content that you're not happy with and you've been tagged, you usually have the option to untag yourself. You can also report it to the networks themselves if you want it pulled down. Remember to delete or deactivate any old unwanted accounts that you don't use anymore. And I'd also recommend regularly logging out of all of your online profiles, including your social media accounts, and searching for yourself using popular search engines like Google. I hope you found this advice useful. The technology is amazing and we all have the right to use it safely and responsibly. We've got loads of other similar videos you can click on to find out more about how to be safe online. Do check them out. Thanks for listening.